Hey guys, so I'm back with my computer and today I have a project for you which will blow your mind. Okay, so today we are going to create that chatbot AI project which I mentioned in my previous videos. So today we will learn how to create the actual chatbot which will speak, which can understand what we are saying and everything like that. And to watch this video, you have to watch the prerequisites video first so you can understand how we can make our computer speak and we can how we can make our computer listen or understand what we are saying so for that you can watch my previous video so you can find the link of that video in the i button now and you can find the link of the python programming playlist in the description below if you haven't watched my videos please give them a try okay so with that said let me open my visual studio code here i have an empty project here i have a clean file I like Visual Studio Code the most personally if you like the other code editor you can go with that if you like other IDE any other text editor you can go with that. Now first of all we will import the speech recognition as SR and why we are doing that because not speech recognition okay so we will import the speech recognition as SR and why we are doing that because I don't want this lengthy speech recognition word instead I will use SR directly. So I can use sr.recognizer, sr.microphone instead of using speech recognition dot reco uh, recognizer, speech recognition dot microphone. So that would be lengthy. And for that, I will use this sr here. Now what we want next is we want PYTTSX3 to make our computer speak. So you can consider that the speech recognition is the ears of computer and this PYTTSX3 is the mouth of the computer. So with PYTTSX3, our computer will be able to speak with speech recognition, our computer will be able to listen what we are saying and understand what we are saying. Recognize what the speech is, you can say. The actual word says that. Okay, so now here I will add a comment. Initializations. Initializations. Okay, here I will initialize my PYTTSX3. Okay, so I will initialize that. So here I have PYTTSX3 and I will store that in engine then i will choose a voice so here i will create a variable voices in there i will add engine okay sorry engine dot py sorry not py so dot get property i will get the voices property then what i will do is i will use engine dot set property i will set the property voice and the value of this voice will be voices zero dot id okay so zero will be the male voice and one will be the female voice and let me show you how to get an idea about that so for i in voices i would like to print this i so i would like to print this i here now let me run the code and here as you can see i have two voices listed in my computer so the first voice is microsoft david and the second voice is Microsoft Zira. So I have these two voices installed on this computer and I will prefer to use Zira because it looks much more better. It sounds much more better than Microsoft David. So I will be sticking with voice one, which will be the Microsoft Zira. Now we cannot always use engine.say this, engine.say that. So for that, we will create a function. But for now, let us check that everything is working fine. So let us use hello world here so we will make our computer say hello world so engine dot run and wait now let us run the code hello world okay so our computer is saying hello world right now and which is perfect which is something that we want now here i will create a function so here i will create a function speak so speak function okay so what this function will do is let me create that function so here I have this speak function okay, which, takes, which takes a text then what it will do is it will say engine.say we pass in the text which we have so that our program is saying something that we pass in these brackets just like print statement something we pass here gets printed so something that we pass there will be uh, said by the computer and we also want our computer to print that so I will print this like that so we will print this like a zira and what this zira said will be printed here so uh, 
now what I will do is I will use an F string here so F and here I will pass in the text okay and then I will also use engine dot run and wait so I think you are understanding what is going on here because I have explained everything which I'm doing here in my previous videos if you haven't watched them if you haven't understood what is going on here if you don't understand then you can watch those videos again so here as you can see let me explain this quickly so here we have initialized our PYT TSX3 with using this init method so we have initialized our python text to speech version 3 or extension 3 we have initialized that right now here on line number 5 on line 6 what we have done is we have we are getting all those voices available in this machine then what we are doing is we are setting the property voice so the voices which we get so we are setting the property of voice to voices one dot id that means the voice one so it returns the list and the first element of that voice and the id of that so the name of that voice which is zira so uh, i am going with that voice <coughs> <coughs> sorry so we are going with that voice one dot id then we created a speak function which takes a text here then it prints zira and the text so the zira said something so it shows like that it shows the label then we have engine dot say text so it says the text which we want our speak function to say and then we use engine dot run and wait so until that i think everything is clear up to this point then we will create a listen function so this listen function will be our next function which will be able to listen which we will make which will make our computer to listen something and recognize what we are saying so this listen function will be as follows we will create an r sr dot recognizer so we will create the instance of this recognizer class then we will open this uh, basically we will uh, listen to the audio with using microphone as s as source okay so source and you can find this all this code on the documentation i am not uh, i haven't remembered all the code i am not uh, just copying this code i have uh, saw the code on the documentation i understood what each function and what each method does and then i am doing this here so you can find the uh, document uh, you can find the documentation online on google and you can see all the functions and all those things what their work is so what this recognizer will do what this microphone will do you will find everything there so we will listen to this source and so we here what we are doing is we are taking this r so this is the instance of this recognizer class okay then we are taking input from the microphone and as a source then we are storing that audio so we are listening to that audio so we are listening to that source and then we have stored it into this audio then what we are doing is what we will be doing is we will be adding a try except block here so i will try and what i will try is r dot listen okay so i will try r dot recognize google okay so we will use google api engine to recognize our audio so i will listen to my audio and here i will name it command okay so we will listen to the audio and then what we will do is accept so if these uh, this is not the case then i will print or i will make our computer speak not print i will make our computer speak i can't get that okay i can't get that so we should be able to uh, now recognize our audio and we should be able to now speak make our computer speak that i can't get that and here one more thing which i would like to have is the print statement which says listening so that we get an idea that when our computer is listening to our audio and when it is not and i would like to give a backslash in here and here what i will do is i will take that command and then i will use another print statement like user said okay so user and then here i will be passing that command directly and i will use the f string here so now we are able to recognize what our user is saying we are able to uh, make our computer speak okay so i think that is something that we want so these two things are crucial these two things are the basics now what we want to do is we want to run our code 
again and again we want to make our computer listen then we give a command then it does that then it again listens so for that we will use while loop so while running is equal to true or what we can do is while running we will simply say that while running i will create that running here so running is equals to true you can also go with directly with uh, while true so i'll create an infinite loop here and then here what i want to do first of all let me create the intro function as well so this intro function will be the introduction for our uh, ai so it will say hi i am zira okay then it will say it will basically speak i am your personal assistant okay so that is something it will speak and i will run that here so intro i will run that and then what i will do is i will take the command okay so i will take the command here i will also return the command so that i can take that command directly so i will return this command here okay oops okay so now we are returning this command here and then what we will do is we will use this command is equals to the listen function okay and dot lower so now why we are using this lower here because i don't want my program to be uh, when i say like exit and e is capital and my if cases e in my if cases my e is smaller or lower case then my condition is not met so i don't want that so we are converting this uh, everything that we say into lower case so if our command is exit for now let us uh, simply check that if our command is exit what we will do is we will say running is equals to false okay and we will make our computer speak that exiting program okay speak thank you for using me okay so if our command is exit then it should say that and else what should happen else our computer should speak uh, okay i get that okay so now let us save it and now let us run it so let me just uh, give you a quick so sorry so let me just give you a quick overview of what is happening here so here we have initialized running is equal to true so that our running that means our while loop is infinitely running then we have engine so here i have initialized my pyt tsx3 then i have set the voice equal to 1 so that i have set the voice equal to uh, zira voice microsoft zira voice then here i have this speak function which takes some data and it will speak that so whatever text we pass here just like this if i'll pass i can't get that our um, zira will say that so that's something we are passing here then on this in this listen function what we are doing is we are creating an instance of this recognizer class then what we have done is we have took the input from the microphone as source then on line number 22 what we have done is we have printed a label like listening so that we get an idea that when our program is listening to our audio and when it is not then on line number 23 what we have done is we have used r dot listen to the source that means we are listening to the source which we get from the microphone and then we pass that audio that means the voice which has been captured by the microphone to recognize google which is another method which helps us to or which makes our uh, uh, which makes uh, our computer able to understand what user is saying and then we store it in command and we return that command with a label like user and what user said will be the command okay so just like that then what we have done in this intro function this intro function is pretty simple it simply it simply prints uh, like it simply says hi i am zira i am your personal assistant so these two uh, sentences it simply says these two sentences so that's all then we have this uh, while loop here which is in uh, infinite loop where we take this command again and again so each time we want this command then in this command what we do is we first of all convert our command to lower case so that this exit will be matched with this exit as well because this will be converted to lower case here what we are doing is we are checking that if exist ex if exit is in this command so if this exit is found in this command then 
our program should say exiting program and thank you for using me so if the command is like uh, bye bye exit the program if the command is like that so exit the program still we have this exit word in this command and that's why our program will exit so we don't have to use or 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 again and again and then we have running is equal to false that means this while loop will be false and that's why we will exit the program and else if this exit is not in the uh, in the condition then what will happen is it will say okay i get that so that's pretty simple up to now we have done this so far so let us run this code hi i am zira i am your personal assistant hi zira okay i get that exit exiting program thank you for using me okay so as you can see when i say exit it says exiting program thank you for using me and our program is finished our program is exited then here when i say uh, hi zira due to the indian pronunciation this takes in as hi Z sierra but i said hi zira so these are some basic small mistakes which will happen due to the indian pronunciation we are not americans or uh, we are not from uh, united kingdom that's why our english accent is different and that's why this happens sometimes okay so let me just close this and now here we have this exit command right now now let me take you to the, the another uh, thing which i would like to show you let me take you to another part of this program so here in this index.py i have empty file right now now i will show you how you can add how you can implement an actual api in this main.py file so we will implement the api which will help us to get weather forecast which will get uh, help us to use uh, which will help us to reply to science questions to mathematical questions and all that and how we can do that with using the wolfram alpha api so simply open your browser so simply open your browser head over to wolfram alpha here go to this link simply log in with your account so simply log in with your account okay and create your account basically then simply go to my apps section okay so it will take some time let me uh, let it load so here we have this page right now now here simply click on get an app id simply give your application a name and a description you can give it whatever you would like to give here i have created an application so let me show you okay so here as you can see we have a personal chatbot project as application name and a simple chatbot project in python for youtube so this is my description for this project and this is my app id so don't worry i will delete this app id after this video and you will will not be able to use this app id so create your own and simply copy this app id you simply have to copy this app id now head back to the visual studio code here what i will do is we also need the uh, package so what i will do is i will use my powershell so open your powershell here i have this powershell now simply use pip install wolfram alpha okay so simply install wolfram alpha so with using pip so I, it says requirement already satisfied because i have already installed this so if it is not installed in your machine it will simply install wolfram alpha for your machine and then you will be able to use wolfram alpha api now here what we will do is we will import the wolfram alpha api then what we will do is we will create wolfram alpha dot client we will use this client class here we pass the app id which we just copied from that wolfram alpha site and then let us simply store it in this client so we created an instance of this uh, wolfram alpha dot client class this client is the uh, object which we have created then we can use these methods which we have on this wolfram alpha like query here let us pass okay so here let us pass whether forecast in uh, let's say mumbai and what we will do is we will get the results okay so let's get the results and let us store it in a variable 
let's say result okay so we get the result of this with using the query we pass the query in here and dot results or you can do or the another approach which you can do is you can then store result dot results in another variable that is also valid that you can do that so what you can do is you can do this as well so you can create a result is equal to result dot results and let us change this to res okay so you can do that as well so you can take this result and you can use dot results here as well but i am sticking with this approach because it is much more cleaner and then what we will do is we will use our print function and then in here i will pass this next and in here i will pass this result dot text so what i am doing here using this next function we are accessing the next element of the array and then we are using dot text which will give us the actual text of that specific uh, data as you can say so we have this now let me run this code so as you can see between 27 degrees celsius and 31 degrees celsius clear all day so that's something which is appreciable so with using this wolfram alpha we can pass any query that we want so just like this chemical formula of sodium now let us save it and now let us run this code now we should get an a here okay so as you can see we get an a because an a is the chemical formula of sodium so everything is working quite well we can also perform mathematical operations like this x plus y is equal to 6 okay x plus y is equal to 6 and x minus y is equal to let's say 1 so here let us run it okay so it will take some time and here as you can see x is 7 by 2 y is 5 by 2 so these are the values of x and y which we get so this is incredible we can get the values we can get the, the results of mathematical equations we can get the results of anything that we want so with using this uh, wolfram alpha api we can modify or we can take our uh, chatbot to a next level and what we are going to do here is we will simply go into this chatbot program so here we have this program up to this point now instead of saying okay i get that instead of saying this what we will do is we will use our result so we will say result is equal to client dot query so we will pass this query here i will create this letter so query and here i will pass the command okay so we will pass the command here and then what we will do is i will get result is equal to here i will get the result okay so then what i will do is i will say result is equals to res dot results and then what i will do is i will simply use speak to speak those results out and here i will do something like this i will use this result okay so in the next function we want to pass it to the next function and i will use dot text here which will give us the actual results and for that we have to also use the wolfram alpha so i will import sorry so i will import the wolfram alpha and in the initializations okay after the initializations i will create another initialization so initialization and initialization and in bracket i will pass the wolfram alpha here so wolfram alpha and here i will now create the uh, client so i will take the client is equals to wolfram alpha dot client and here i will pass the app id which we have so this is app id that i copied and don't use this app id i am saying this again and again i will delete that after this uh, video after recording this video but do not use this app id okay so now what i will do is uh, we will get this client right now okay so this is it for uh, this uh, wolfram alpha implementation i think so let us run the code again and now let us take our program to the next level let us check that what our python program is doing how our chatbot chat is responding so let me run the code hi 
I am Zira. I am your personal assistant. Weather forecast in Delhi. Between 20 degrees Celsius and 28 degrees Celsius. Clear all day. What is chemical formula of mercury? Hg. What is python? Kingdom Animalia, animals. Phylum Chordata, chordates. Class Reptilia, reptiles. Orders Squamata, lizards and snakes. Family Boidae, boas, pythons and anacondas. What is Indian spectacled cobra? Okay, so this is not found in this uh, Wolfram Alpha because I said Indian spectacled cobra and it listened, it recognized it as Indian actor called cobra. So that, that, that is something that happens because of our accent as I said before. So that happens. So what we can do in these cases is we can use try except blocks. But this is amazing that whenever we pass python here, so uh, it, it uh, understood that python is the animal, so the snake python. So uh, for that python, it told us that it is kingdom uh, is animalia, the phylum is chordata, the class is reptilia, order is uh, squamata, then family is this and all those things. So we get each and every detail of our query. So here I said chemical formula of mercury, I get Hg here. Here I said uh, weather forecast in Delhi, here I get 20 degrees to 28 degrees Celsius and clear all day. So this is something that I like a lot about Wolfram Alpha. Now. With this, what we have done so far is we have took our program to a next level. This is extraordinarily amazing program, I think, because that's working very, very fine. And we have just wrote that in 50 lines and we can ask this program anything that we want. Now here I will add try query. So here what we can do is we can add a try query like that. And then here I will add another uh, statement like accept. And if this is not the case, what we can do is we can search over to the Wikipedia. And for that, as you know, we will import the Wikipedia like that. So Wikipedia. So I think I haven't installed Wikipedia yet. So open PowerShell. Simply open your PowerShell window. Let me clear this. Now here, let us install using pip install Wolfram, uh, not Wolfram Alpha. We need Wikipedia. So simply use pip install wikipedia to install this wikipedia package so let us wait till it is installing so here as you can see successfully installed this uh, wikipedia now let me clear this out let me exit this powershell i forgot the name of that uh, software so it is powershell so now we have import wikipedia here now what we can do is here we can pass wikipedia dot summary okay so in this summary what we can do is we can pass the query so we can pass the query like this so we pass the command and then we will pass the another uh, argument which we have on this summary so wikipedia dot summary here we will pass the command and i will pass another argument Something like sentence i said that so it is sentences and here i will pass two and instead of printing this summary now, I will make our computer speak this summary. Now let us save it and now let us run it. Hi, I am Zira. I am your personal assistant. Python programming in Wikipedia. Python is an interpreted high-level general purpose programming language. Its design philosophy emphasizes code readability with its use of significant indentation. You are excellent. Adjective very good, of the highest quality. I said wrong. So, so far our program is working very, very perfectly, I think. So, now I will add some more features. Okay. So, how to add those features right now? So, what we will add, what the features which, the features which we will add are something like, okay. So, let me just add those features. So, here I will check that elif. Okay. So, elif, the command is create file so elif the command is create file then what should we do is we should open a file first so i will open a file okay so let us open file.txt in 
uh, write mode or we can open it in append mode as file and then we will write to that file so that is the basic syntax okay but now how will we do that so for that what we will do is we will first of all speak okay so we will speak a uh, name of the file okay so name of the file so we will get the name of the file right now here and uh, let us keep it uh, limited to text files you can use uh, this code you can simply modify this code and you can take input from the user about text files python files javascript files and all those different extensions files with different extensions you can take the input of that as well so that you can modify that but here what i will do is i will now create a file so name of the file here i will listen first of all so uh, what will be the name of file so name of file okay okay or i will simply store it in name or file name let us say file name so we get the file name through this listen right now then here I will pass that file name so I will pass that file underscore name so we will pass that file name here then what we will do is we will uh, take the file name and then we will say here I will make our computer speak content of the file so what is the content of the file so tell me the content of the file so here what we will do is we will take content or let us say file content so file content is equal to listen so we will listen to the audio again and then we will pass this file content here and I will also use a backslash n or we can keep that simple if you are using append method I would suggest you to use backslash n so that whenever the data will be appended to the file it will be on the new line okay so here I get this file right now so we get the file we asked for the input so we ask for the name so we get the name then we ask that for the content then what we do is we will speak okay so we will make our computer speak this text uh, file created successfully so I think uh, that is interesting so this is one more feature which we can add now let us run the code so as you can see we have this programming txt let me delete it okay so as you can see we have no files right now so now let me run this code okay hi I am Zira I am your personal assistant create file name of the file programming.txt content of the file hi I am programming with Vedant and this is the chatbot tutorial where we are creating a excellent chatbot file created successfully exit exiting program thank you for using me okay so as you can see uh, we have created this programming.net.txt and here I said programming.txt that was my mistake we should have said the name of the file without extension so let us add that here as well so uh, name of the file here let us add without extension okay so save it and now we should get the name of the file without extension so uh, it should be programming.txt and we get all the text here so as you can see we get the text which I said so it is 99% uh, accurate uh, I am not saying that it is 100% accurate but now you can create text files with your voice you can create text files where you can store a lot of text with just with speaking okay so now here let us close this file let us delete this file okay so let us create another file right now or what we can do is we can you can add the functionality to create a python file okay so you can do that as well so you can add a lot of functionalities in here currently we are limited to these functionalities but you are free to add a lot of functionalities here okay so now what we can do is here whenever we say exit our program is exiting but now i will will also add this exit or uh, by in the command so if exit or by in command then our computer should exit then uh, now let us add another interesting feature so we will check elif 
okay so elif date in okay elif uh, date in command okay or elif date is equal to equal to command so if our command is date then what should happen is we should be able our computer should be able to speak the date so today and here we should be able to print that date so let us print the date here so date and what this date will be so this date will be date time dot date time okay or date time dot now we can take date time dot now and here we have to import that date time so how we will do that so i will import from date time i will import that date time okay so i will import date time from this date time okay so it is a bit complicated but you can import date time from date time and now then there is a method now which will give us the date which we have so now let us run the code hi i am zira i am your personal assistant date today november 21st 2021 11:32 colon 44.419161 so it is giving me the time as well bye so as it finds this pi in this uh, command it will exit the program so let us wait okay so there is some error on line number 73 and stop iteration okay so what is the error uh, it is giving me the by okay so this is the text which i said and the error is in here so in line number 73 okay so in line number 73 we have this error so what we can do basically is we can try this so we can either try this and uh, this wikipedia and this uh, what is it uh, wolfram alpha are taking some time to uh, get the results because of the network connection currently i am not on my wifi currently i am on my mobile data and that's why the actual network speed is slow and that's why we are getting the results slowly okay so here i will use accept and here accept what we will do is we will speak i can't understand i can't understand that so and what we will do is we will open web browser dot open and we will head over to google chrome so we will open www dot google dot com and you can do that same for youtube facebook and all those things so i will import the web browser as well so here we are importing the web browser so as you can see we have the web browser here so now whenever our program cannot find this then it will simply open the web browser and it will say i can't understand that okay so this date should be printed but date dot uh, i think it should print the date only so it should print date now let us run this code again hi i am zira i am your personal assistant date today november 21st 2021 okay exit exiting program thank you for using me okay so now uh if the date or we can check that if the date is equal to equal to command then this should happen then what we can add is we can simply replicate this code okay so oops there is some problem so what we can do is we can replicate this code here and we can take this to next line and here i can add time as well so if time is the command then date time dot now dot time okay so with using this time we should be able to give the time as well and here i will pass the time and here we will pass the time as well so simply pass the time save it and run it hi i am zira i am your personal assistant what's the time okay so it will give an error right now so it will say i don't understand So it is searching on the net right now. So I can't understand that. 
okay so now it will open google chrome so we can search our query here okay so if the google is not able to understand then it will our if our chatbot is not able to understand then it will open google chrome so that you can search over the web to get whatever you want okay so uh, let me just stop this program right now and here now we can add a lot of functionalities so we can add play on youtube and all those functionalities but for that we will need pivot kit which will be our topic on the in the next video this was the part one of creating chatbot we will take this chatbot to the next level and we will take this chatbot to an amazing level that our chatbot will be able to answer a lot of questions okay so currently we have this code which is able to uh, handle a lot of tasks okay so i think a lot of tasks can be handled so here in and instead of equal to i will use date in command okay so now let me show you the live working of this program so let me run this code hi i am zira i am your personal assistant hello nice to meet you hello human please can you tell me the chemical formula of iron fe what is lion systemic groups lymphatic system Anatomical groups hematopoietic system organ abdominal viscous corticomedullary organ set of viscera of abdomen proper. Total, 7. Structural groups abdomen hematopoietic system. Anatomical spaces left side of retroperitoneal compartment space of left side of retroperitoneal compartment. Regional parts lower pole of spleen hilum of spleen upper pole of spleen. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Now here, when I say... My name is Wolfram Malfa. It will say Wolfram Alpha. Hi. We don't want our program to say Wolfram Alpha here, so we will add this your name to our command. So whenever your name will be found in our command, it will reply that. So now here I will add elif. Okay, so elif your name in command. So if that's found in the command, it will speak like this. So it will speak, uh, hello, I am. I can't understand that. Zira. Dell Wikipedia. Okay, so here we have Zira, and uh, we will get the Wikipedia results here. Dell is an American multinational computer technology company that develops, sells, repairs, and supports computers and related products and services, and is owned by its parent company of Dell Technologies. Founded in 1984 by Michael Dell, the company is one of the largest technology corporations in the world employing more than 165,000 people in the U.S. and around the world. Dell sells personal computers, PCs, servers, data storage devices, network switches, software, computer peripherals, HDTVs, cameras, printers, and electronics built by other manufacturers. Exit. Exiting program. Thank you for using me. So up to this point, I think everything is working fine and everything is perfect. Everything is uh, absolutely perfect. So here, if we'll ask your name here now, then it should say, hello, I am Zira. And it should also speak like this. It should say, uh, I am voice of, or uh, no, it should say, hello, I am Zira. And that's it. Okay. So now let's run it. Hi, I am Zira. I am your personal assistant. What is your name? Hello, I am Zira. Can you please tell me the chemical formula of magnesium? Mg. What is the square of 512? Two hundred and sixty two thousand one hundred and forty four square of two four. How to find the parameter of rectangle? None. How to find the surface area of rectangle?
HW. Assuming height H and width W. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Hello, human. What is a tiger? Kingdom Animalia, animals. Phylum Chordata, chordates. Class Mammalia, mammals. Order Carnivora, carnivores. Family Felidae, cats. Genus Panthera. Species Panthera tigris, tiger. Thank you. Exit. Exiting program. Thank you for using me. So as you can see, our program is working very well. Now we can also give the mathematical equations. So let me show you that as well. So we can give the mathematical equations to it and it will solve that. Hi, I am Zira. I am your personal assistant. Square of 9. 81. Square root of 81. 9. Surface area of cuboid. S equals 2. AB plus AC plus BC. Assuming edge lengths A, B, C. But still, our program is working well and we get all those mathematical outputs. We get all those mathematical uh, calculations. Okay, so let us run it again. Hi, I am Zira. I am your personal assistant. Sum of first 10 natural numbers. Sum underscore i equals 1, 10 i equals 55. So as you can see, we get the output here. So exit. Exiting program. So as you can see, Thank our you for program using me. is working fine. Our program is working perfectly. So you can create this type of chatbot in your uh, computer. You can try to create this type of chatbot. So thank you for watching this video, guys. If you like my videos, do subscribe, like and share my videos. That will support me a lot. So I will come up with these type of videos. So thank you for watching this video, guys. And this was just a part one of the chatbot we will develop this chatbot we will take this chatbot to the next level in our part two so thank you for watching this video guys and i will see you in the next video